wanting them to think a different way, wanting people to act a different way, wanting situations to be different. If it's not within your control, you're going to suffer. Hi, this is Kelly Hine. A little while ago, I did a survey inside my private Facebook group and I asked people, what is the main barrier that you have to you like what is stopping you from feeling more peaceful and happy and the top thing that came up was other people and the way they act and I know that this is so true in our lives it's it's the conflicts and the difficulties that we have with other people that so often is is the number one thing that makes life challenging when you think about your life and the biggest challenges that you've had very often the the top ones will will relate to other people the way that they act the way they behave um, conflict that you have with other people well the author Byron Katie makes a really fantastic and easy to understand point when she says there are three kinds of business your business, other people's business, and God's business. And God's business meaning um, that which none of us can control. Something like, say, the weather. Now, when we don't stay in our business, we suffer. So in other words, when we are trying to control or fight against the way that other people are acting, the way that other people are thinking, or situations that none of us have control over. When we try to control or fight against those things, we suffer. So the key is to notice when we're in one of those stories of fighting against or trying to control and recognize and ask, am I in my business or am I in their business? And come back into your own business. Now, there are situations that affect us the key is for us to focus on how we respond. When we worry about what other people are thinking, when we want them to agree with us or we don't want them to think badly of us, we're in their business because we're basically wanting them to think a different way, wanting people to act a different way, wanting situations to be different. If it's not within your control, you're going to suffer. And this is where so often boundaries comes into play. So boundaries is all about how we respond to the way that other people act. With boundaries, we say, this is what I say is okay, and this is what I say isn't okay, but it's not up to me to try and control what you're doing. I'm just going to choose my response. And of course, with boundaries, it's important to stick to those. So if someone else is speaking to you, for example, in a way that your boundaries say, no, I, I'm not going to tolerate someone speaking to me like that, you can't stop them, you can't control the way they speak, but you can certainly choose whether you want to continue the dialogue, whether you want to leave the situation, whether you want to spend more time with that person. So these are the things that you can control. And forget about trying to change the way they're acting, try, change the way they're thinking or fighting against it, even if it's just fighting against it in your own mind. So this, this wonderful question, am I in my business? Am I staying in my business or am I in their business? Remember, there's three kinds of business, as Byron Katie says, your business, other people's business, God's business, meaning that which none of us are in control of. Okay, so remembering this and staying in our own business relieves so much suffering. This concept has really helped me a lot and countless other women that I have worked with and I hope that it helps you too. Well, if you found this video helpful, then remember to share it with others and leave a comment. We would love to hear from you. 
If you don't already have my meditation made easy guide and my free five minute express meditation, then head over to kellyhine.com and you can receive those and also get my email updates with more helpful tips and resources for living a life that you love. Thank you so much for listening. Remember to always make space to calm your mind and nourish your soul. I'll see you next time.